Today we're gonna to take a look at a banded loop bridge, not a hip thrust, but you can do the exact same thing with a, with a uh, bench and the hip thrust movement uh, with a resistance band, a couple of different ways. But right now we're just gonna do it on the floor in case you don't have access to any other equipment and you're at home. And so here we can do um, put our feet around the band and basically this band part is gonna go at the hips. Now, as you can see, there's not a lot of tension here, so I need to fix that. So I'm gonna wrap this once around my feet, bring this band up towards the hips and keep my feet close to my body. So you might have to have a little bit of a wider stance in order to get the band up here. And then we're gonna hip thrust or glute bridge through, glute bridge through with the band that's around the feet. Now, if you find this not to be enough tension, because this is a lighter band uh, for myself, I'm gonna have to get this band up over my hips as well again. So we want a double band on the hip. So we're gonna lay it here, and then we're gonna put our feet through those bands so that we have two bands on the hips. So we can go ahead and put that on there and up and squeeze. Now I have double the tension, and if you hold it longer at the top, you're gonna to be able to create a little more tension with those glute bridges and some resistance. And if you happen to have dumbbells as well, you can always put a dumbbell on here as well in order to add more resistance to this movement on the floor. And if you want, we can even add some bands here up at the top to get the abduction in as well. So this is the resistance band glute bridge, or you can do it as a hip thrust, upper back on a bench, and uh, then you've also increased the range of motion and increased the tension as well.